Hello, everyone. Good morning. So as Raku mentioned, energy is absolutely top of mind for so many of us around the world, and obviously particularly here in Europe. Energy price increases, energy shortages this coming winter. And the only way we can fix this, as Raghu mentioned, the collective responsibility, is to work together to co-innovate to accelerate our energy transformation. So let's see, where are we today? So if you look across the ICT space, which is the information and communication technology space, essentially all of the networking and data centers we've got around the world, what you see is that we're almost at 600 terawatt hours. That's as much as some entire countries use in terms of energy in a given year. But it's not just where we are today, because if you look forward, what you see is actually a massive increase. We're projecting almost, or over, I should say, 200% increase. And a lot of that is because of new technologies coming online. Think of 5G in the telco space. So many additional servers, so many additional apps all across the world. And so we have both an urgent problem today and a longer-term problem that we've got to solve. But the good news is there's a lot of work happening from VMware, from our partners, and you all, our customers. So let's talk about what we've done there and what we're going to be doing. Let's start with the private cloud. Now, Looking across the last two decades of vSphere use, virtualization use, we have saved collectively about 2.5 billion megawatt hours, which equates to about 1.2 billion metric tons of carbon. Truly amazing. But we're not stopping there. There's all sorts of great new innovations we're doing, things at the processor level, like P-state and C-state uh, optimizations. At the host level, what we're doing with SmartNIC or DPU offloads with Project Monterey, now part of vSphere 8, drawdown power there. At the cluster level, intelligently adding or removing hosts based on the workload need. And even at the data center level, using advanced ML algorithms to optimize data center cooling, for instance. But it continues on. The public cloud as well, there's a lot of innovations. Think about the fact that with something like VMware Cloud and AWS, you no longer need a physical DR site. You can move that to the cloud. You can reduce your energy usage. Or with things like HCX, you can migrate workloads to where they can be most, uh, run most energy efficiently. And there's also a lot of partners doing great things here, too. The interesting thing about the scale of the hyperscalers is that you can look holistically at solutions. So for instance, in Ireland, the leading Irish utility ESB is actually working with hyperscalers auditing renewable energy sources to drive down energy usage. And as I mentioned, the telco space, a lot of great innovation there happening with 5G, and also a lot of great opportunities for things like energy savings. We look at OpenRAN, opening up innovation across the industry there. And what we see is that with spectral efficiency gains, like from our partner Cohere, we can get 2x better performance at 50% the energy usage. And we also see this happening across the board, Telefonica, Deutsche Telekom, Vodafone, all of whom have projects underway to reduce their energy footprint. And then at the edge, we're taking a lot of the technologies that we have built in the data center, uh, things like server consolidation, networking, storage consolidation, applying them there at scale. Customer Audi has been very focused on this over the last many years with their green initiatives and are now saving around 37,000 megawatt hours per year. We also have our VMware Zero Carbon Committed Clouds. These are cloud providers who have committed to 100% renewable energy by 2030 and to use the latest and greatest data center hardware that's most energy efficient. And so if we can all come together, we can look at this curve that's projected. But keep in mind, it is projected. This is not what reality has to be. We can come together to flatten that curve, adopting server consolidation, adopting at the edge, for instance, storage and networking consolidation, driving all those innovations we talked about with the hybrid cloud, public cloud, renewable energy power clouds, all the optimizations we mentioned in the telco RAN space, and of course, many future innovations that we're going to think up over the next months and years together. Because again, it really takes all of us working together between VMware, our partners, and customers to fundamentally accelerate this energy transformation. Now, I've been, done a deep dive into innovation in the energy space, but obviously VMware is driving innovations across the multi-cloud space.